I was born in New Brunswick, New Jersey. My mother and father were ill, and I was in an orphan asylum for the first couple of years, and then raised by an aunt and uncle till I was about 15. People say that I developed street smarts very early. When I was 16 years old, and I happened to meet George Gallup uh, in Princeton, New Jersey, and I became fascinated with the polling method and the mechanics of it just it was sort of thrilling, and uh, that's what uh, I often say I was infected with the idea of survey research. In uh, 1940, before the war, I worked for the Gallup Poll and also another re uh, research company, doing interviewing, traveling throughout the country uh, and Canada, uh, interviewing people and supervising other interviewers, and uh, that got me started. Uh, I became a cadet in Merchant Marine Academy in 1942, and uh, it allowed me some time to study, and I was able to get help and uh, materials and uh, guidance from them uh, while I was in the Merchant Marine. I would play poker, and uh, I, would, I was not, I didn't think I was that much of a poker player, but I was not as wild as, uh, and venturesome or some of the other players, so I, uh, I was winning. So at the end of the war, I had uh, a, a stake of a few thousand dollars that I'd won in poker, and that uh, gave me a cushion to start my own research company. Field Research Corp uh, was formed in 1946, and the field poll came in, in being in 1947. The idea was to, to poll the people on public policy issues, social issues, and, and candidates, and the idea was to have that as something that the media would buy, and uh, it would, again, be a demonstration of survey research and action. And as it related to election polls, election polls could, uh, could validate the method. And uh, again, this would uh, uh, be a method that would be attractive to business. While there are many opportunities to do research work for a candidate or a special cause, I wanted the poll, the field poll, to uh, uh, be uh, independent, to be objective, and uh, I felt if we had taken funds from somebody who had a particular interest in the uh, election, uh, that this would uh, impair the, uh, uh, the idea and the actuality that this is Im impartial, it's objective, and not uh, influenced by, uh, uh, b uh, by outside interests. The classic uh, boo-boo was the Harry Truman, Tom Dewey uh, election. This is at a time when all the national polls and all the state polls were showing Tom Dewey ahead. And people believed that the race was over in August after the conventions. So the Thursday before the Tuesday election, uh, the half sample, we found out it was a tied here in California between uh, Dewey and uh, Truman. And my first thought was the, something happened. The universe made a mistake. I found 12 questionnaires. I thought this was an error and basically changed them from a vote for Truman, just hand by hand, made this uh, horrible uh, and unconscionable thing in one way, but I was not guided by anything other than where's the mistake? Got to find the mistake. So taking those, just those 12 questionnaires out of the 500, changing them uh, from, uh, 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 from Truman to Dewey, instead of the 47.5, 47.5 split, uh, made it 50-45 in, in, in favor of Dewey. It was a technician error, not that a, a technique error. The technique was right. But just by laying it all out and describing it that way, and it all got subsequently researched, it helped uh, convey the idea that this was a tool that can, uh, uh, can work. I can always get some nourishment even out of bad data. But then as I was doing more and more research and seeing how people used it, how leaders used it, political leaders, legislators used it, could see how where uh, getting the public's view on a impending uh, legislation uh, or how a business would feel about some uh, policy that they might uh, start. And this, uh, I could see the, um, how this was so helpful and that it was so important to get the public's view. And you could, what the poll did was to bypass the people at the time who were what I would call self-appointed leaders. They'd say, 
my people think this. Well, we would do a research of his or her people and find out that what they said was different. So what, uh, uh, what polling did brought uh, the public really into these public and legislative uh, uh, deliberations as to what was good policy. Don't ever think to know it all, being good researchers. We've got to find the mistakes and uh, not assume that what we have is correct. And uh, always e uh, examine and re-examine the method and uh, uh, not to be so sure that what you have found is the last word. The last word is not going to occur to for some time in the future.